getting into Houston this morning. Morning traffic, nothing like 8 a.m. in Houston. Been on the road since about 3.45. So making my way to Austin, I'm gonna go see John Wellborn today. Look at that fucking hair, I am looking nice. I'm gonna go see John Wellborn, do a podcast with them. Also gonna record one of my own. And then um, see what the rest of the day holds. I know tomorrow I'll be around on it most of the day. So let's uh, continue the next three, three hours of this drive. Yeah, man. Middle of nowhere, Texas. About an hour outside of uh, John's place. So, a little bit further to go. No, and, uh, no, what, no. 160 pounds? <laughs> no, no. Who's the guy? Remy 700? No, it's a Savage. Yeah, it's Savage. Savage 3. stay at the guild really like this place it's nice having like an apartment it makes a big difference for me like being able to sit and work in the morning to get some shit done before i take out for the day yesterday was awesome i keep spending more and more time with wellborn every time i come and i really like john i know uh a lot of people think john's an asshole because well john's an asshole but that doesn't make john not interesting and not he, he's got a lot of different gears to him and i like that i like that he's got other things he's into besides just strength that he's got these other hobbies and it was it was cool man it was cool to record a podcast with him and talk about things i wanted to talk about it's cool to be part of theirs on power athlete radio really really cool strong positive day yesterday but today i'm heading back to the Onnit academy i'm gonna go hook up with kyle kingsbury uh and see what that's all about really get kind of the full thing because kyle's now the director of human performance and i know him through burdick podcast got to meet Aubrey Whew, it was a fun day yesterday morning like while I was fucking training Lance Armstrong's there yeah where did that about that so today's this like a um, influencer summit something like that for on it it essentially seems like it's um more businessy side of thing so I don't know a lot about it but I'm Kyle's plus one so I'm gonna go Hang out and check it out. Should be cool. So I'm gonna go meet right now. 
uh, for coffee and a little workout, uh, Connor Moore. Connor Moore runs a podcast called Pleasure Monkey. Talk about some stuff. A podcast with him as well. This trip, as much as anything, is just fucking meeting new awesome people that I want to hang out with. Yeah, it's good stuff. circuit four things two rex sizes each circuit three rounds each you go a light set a medium set a heavy set thanks mark bell now some knee rehab Made some new relationships this weekend that I think that I'll really go forward with. And you know, one of the things I always think about in these environments is, is I, I work really hard to shut off my brain for the side of it of, oh shit, let's let's get a selfie, let's get this picture, let's make, let's get that grams, let's let's do the social media thing and fucking slow down and be a person and respond and, and interact and be someone likable looking for a genuine interaction uh, you know big shout out to Kyle Kingsbury at on it uh, big shout out to the entire on it family and Aubrey Marcus for completely having me feel welcome for something I didn't even know was going on this weekend a uh, big shout out to Connor Moore and the pleasure monkey podcast for having me on there John Wellborn and his crew Recorded a podcast with John Wilborn, and um, John Wilborn and I are essentially apes, and did an hour and a half of podcast and didn't record any of it. So I'm gonna get better at this. You just fucking wait. I'm gonna have podcast. Fuck. 
right? So that wasn't ideal. Getting to meet these people and be around, like it really just wasn't the place in that environment to, to have the camera out to show things off, to, to show what's going on. Uh, I'm heading back to Austin on the 5th, gonna go be around on it and uh, see John Wellborn again and go see some people, go see my partner Mike Beach. Mike Beach. Probably try to catch and see Nick Bear again. Really like that guy and what he's got going on. I love seeing that he's making a change and getting into some running and finding some new goals, right? Like, I think it's important that it doesn't always have to be the same direction. Like, it's okay to feel that some things are stale, that you want to make a different move. Now, I guarantee you, during all this running that Nick's going to do, it's not like he's not going to be lifting, right? It's just a different direction. Staying locked into one thing and one thing only and not letting your your compass be a little free to wander is, is tough and that's going to be really tough to do even when I was very competitive in my sport like I still I still had other interests I had still other things I was really into so this weekend was really motivating the only way I can describe kind of this this on it influencers gathering that I was able to be part of was it's like the yin to what Summer Strong is. Like Summer Strong is performance based and all these high level strength coaches and amazing people and specialists and, and we're talking about building performance, right? We're talking about lifting weights. It's 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 fucking meatheads, right? Whereas the on it deal this weekend was a really small gathering, kind of kind of like Summer Strong started. This is the first one on it has done. And it was a lot more about digging in and, and, and trying to find out what what makes you tick and what are your passions and what are your goals and you know it's a talk of meditation and talk of these more spiritual side of things of you know being thankful for the opportunities that you're given and, and realizing that maybe you couldn't have handled this opportunity that you've been handed before because you weren't ready and so you know letting accepting and not trying to force the universe to do what it's doing you know, accepting that now is maybe the time that you're supposed to be given this interaction and given this opportunity and how to make the most of it. Um, so, it was just really rad. Uh, I, I'm just looking forward to doing more and trying to get more out of myself and do more. So, I, you know, I guess that's it. So, I mean, thank you guys, as always, for always following along and being part of this. Um, there's a lot more to come. You know, leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys would like to see some videos on, and I'm gonna make some make some videos for you. Uh, I mean, we know there's a couple videos I, I don't want to make, and I'm not gonna do. But I really do enjoy producing the free content. I really do enjoy producing these guys for you guys on YouTube. And uh, let me know, let me know what you'd like to hear me talk about. What would you like to have some perspective on? What can I help you with? So, thanks a bunch. Spread hate. Always party.